And headlines today has access information from an oil ministry insider. We get you the big points of his revelation. Point number one, every private oil company has deployed their employees in these ministries only for spying and filtering information from ministry officials. Point number two, many ministry employees at lower ranks are on payrolls of these big players as they provide day-to-day -day information. They make copies of files while carrying them from one office to another for entry in registers. Point number three, these moles are paid huge amounts for spying for these corporate houses. Point number four, Oil companies manipulate officers in power. Seniors in uh, ministries are obliged with lavish gifts like cars, flats, holidays abroad and are given private phones to make contact. Point number five, the arrested uh, people are the smallest link of this nexus. Actual players are sitting at top positions in private companies. Pankaj Upadhyay is with us on the phone line. Pankaj, uh, more details coming to light and this is exactly what you're telling us. The Delhi police's crime branch believe that the big fish are yet to be caught. Uh, Simi, Commissioner of Police has himself uh, said that uh, perhaps this advanced outlet of information to the benefit of uh, some of the industrial houses was going on for years, uh, perhaps even in the UPA regime as well. And now what we are also learning that IB had uh, warned many ministries uh, in the past that certain people were in its radar for suspicious movement. In fact, IB had told ministries uh, and warned the ministries that important papers before reaching the PMO were reaching somewhere else. And we are learning that this warning uh, was given as early as second week of January. And as, as I said, it's not just the Petroleum Ministry. Coal, Power, Corporate Affairs and Environment Ministries were the one uh, to which this warning by the IB was said. And police has gone on record to say that they really believe that this is not just the handiwork of these uh, people. They really are the puppets. Perhaps some industrial big big wigs could be really uh, really involved here. And some of the people who are not really willing to come on camera right now tell us that the big oil companies and the petro companies, which really uh, it looks that benefited with this kind of advanced information, really had the junior level staff of the government in its payrolls for giving every minute details. Uh, to, to these oil companies. Right, and you know, this is the worrying trend, the fact that uh, lower level officers can so easily be lured by these corporate houses and of course they're awarded uh, with cash rewards and also paid, uh, also are given gifts uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the face of cars and holidays abroad. That, that, that's right. Uh, uh, in fact, police says now they are uh, very thoroughly investigating the entire matter. The, uh, the entire issue is being really scrutinized. Every employee detail is being really looked into right now after these revelations are coming out. In fact, the IB sources are also saying that they have, uh, they have been closely looking at this trend for the last six months. And the ministries were apprised in advance. They were warned that such kind of uh, suspicious movements were taking place in these ministries and crucial documents uh, uh, were, were being moved to some other places. And uh, this trend, as you rightly pointed out, is very, very worrisome. But also, this goes on to show that how the vested interest in a particular industrial houses, how deep can they really penetrate in this money game where crores and crores are involved uh, for advanced information uh, through these uh, uh, through these spies of the uh, various companies that are there in the uh, government departments. So this is a very, very serious issue. And uh, police says that this is not the uh, handiwork or, or mastermind of a single person. They really feel that this, this is a, a bigger game. And they also feel that it is not just the, in perhaps the big industrial houses uh, that could be involved. They say that if there has to be some guidance and some help from the official machinery as well, because to carry out this work in such a large fashion over the months is not possible without the handiwork and guidance of some government officials as well. Right. And that is why the role of the junior secretary level officials is also under the scanner. Police says the exact location of the file, the documents that the file has, right. the exact policies that the documents really had, only the officials could know about it. Even though police has clearly said that the arrested uh, em employees, government employees would just uh, uh, take whatever was available on the table and just photocopy it. But right, police right. also says that giving the direction could have only have been possible by the officials of the government. 
All right, Pankaj, thanks so much for putting this complicated story in perspective for us and explaining how this scam was working in these uh, crucial ministries. We're going to keep coming back to you for more. The accused persons have been produced before Patiala House Court. There are also reactions coming in from uh, Dharmendra Pradhan. Let's listen in. हमारे साथ है पेट्रोलियम मंत्री धर्मेंद्र प्रधान जी उनसे बात करते हैं सर एक नई बात निकलकर सामने आई है जो लीकेज का केस है उसमें जो एक आरोपी है उसका दावा है कि दस हजार करोड़ का ये घपला है और इसमें कवर अप करने की कोशिश की जा रही है कैसे आप उसको वो बताएं पुलिस को किस प्रकार की घपला था किस वो बचाना चाहते थे और कौन उसको बचाना चाहता था सारा विषय पुलिस को बता दें दूध का दूध पानी का पानी हो जाएगी कानून को अपना काम करने दीजिए निष्पक्ष अनुसंधान हो इन्वेस्टिगेशन हो सब विषय स्पष्ट हो जाएगी आपको अपने स्तर पर क्या जानकारी मिली किस तरह के दस्तावेज